John Purcell. I graduated from Marion in 1974. My name is Terry Carson, and I graduated from Marion in 1980. I'm Phil Carson. I graduated from Marion in 1981. I came to Marion because I thought I could get a good education. We had good relationships with all of our teachers and professors, and they took a detailed interest in us. We actually had professors that would like call up certain students and say, you know, why aren't you here at class? That wasn't me. <laughs> wasn't me either. <laughs> <laughs> you were family here and they wanted to see you succeed and they made you succeed. We're working on reunion stuff and looking at some of the pictures and it's kind of, it's a little scary actually. I mean the clothes and the hair were, well let's just say good music, bad clothes was reflective of the 70s. When I came here in 1970, we didn't have cars. You know, we didn't get out that much. We got down the street to the mug rack at 30th and Kessler. The school term actually ran till the end of May. You could stay in the dorm for another day and then go to the race and then drive home with your buddies that had come to the race. I was in a play when I was a freshman. I was involved in student government. Jeopardy was big then, it's still big now. And so the deal was 11 o'clock class, get out of class, get to the cafeteria, get lunch, and then get back to the dorm so you could watch Jeopardy. I would always get uh, two ice cream cones after lunch because I had theology, and I'd take an ice cream cone to Father Brian because that'd take 10 minutes of class time for him to eat it. He actually married us, and then years later, he actually married our oldest son who was here at Marion. You went to class and you ate and you hung out, played a lot of double deck pinochle in the lounge at Doyle Hall. It was exciting to go to the perk and to get a hamburger and it, it's nothing like they have here today. Everybody went to Saturday Night Mass because every Saturday night after Mass, dinner was steak and shrimp and so it was kind of a big deal. Sunday afternoons were spent on the intramural football field. The intramural guys got to be the big men on campus taking the cafeteria trays and sliding down the hill at the golf course, ice skating on the lake in the wintertime. We had dances. Of course, we had basketball. That was a regular sport. Considering there wasn't a lot to do, we had a lot of fun. One of the things that's really been fun over the last decade is the whole evolution of football. They built the stadium, and it created a whole other atmosphere. And We've got tailgating now. Football Saturdays are one of the things that I love about Marion today. If you value your time at Marion at all, you have to reflect a little bit on what the sisters were able to establish. The first time I was in an event, when all the sisters got up at the end and they started to sing their blessing, it just was amazing to hear them and to see how many there were and what an impact that they still have on the university. For generations, people have been graduating from Marion College and they've been going out and serving in a variety of ways. Lots of teachers, a variety of nurses, people that have gone out and ventured into businesses. In two years, we'll be having people serve in the community as doctors. When I think about Marion today, I just think of vibrant and energy and impactful. When I see kids coming in, I hope they'll have an experience that, in some ways, it was like my experience. When you look back through the yearbooks at Marion and you see the goofy hairstyles and the clothes that we wore, one of the things that always stays the same is just that concern and care for each individual person. I don't think that ever changes. Marion is the greatest thing that's happened to me by far.